like, I, I, why now? It was just the evolution of time as it went on. And here we are, 40 plus years later. You know, Jim uh, Steinman had originally written a sort of a futuristic vision of Peter Pan. And um, when it became complicated to get, um, have the ability to mount a theatrical production, it's not easy to put together a show. Um, Meat said, hey, these songs are great. Why don't you let me sing them? We can make them famous and then you could do a show. But it's taken a little bit more than a couple of weeks. And, um, but we're excited to be happening now. I mean, to be frank, you know, the why is Jim would have liked it to happen 40 years ago. He's uh, watching uh, these rehearsals every day on Skype. So we see him on Skype and he sees us and it's uh, quite an interesting uh, way to approach things. You treat for you guys to see him because he's the only genius I've ever met. Well, I think it's different in that it, it really is a book driven musical with themes. We didn't have to invent a story. Um, the songs also end up kind of functioning like scenes, you know, so so, some, so in, in many ways, the lyrics, they take you on this like massive journey that has a beginning and a middle and a couple of like huge conflicts and then a, a resolution, just like a great, just like a great book scene would, would have. So the, the actual songs, sometimes they feel, it feels like, it feels like we're staging an opera sometimes because the lyrics actually, they continue the story forward. The quippiest answer is, it's not. <laughs> It was never, jukebox musicals are where you look for hits and you try to make a story work. This is a story, the hits happen to come first.